So this is the, the sample right here. Uh, it's a photograph of the sample, but that was the little glowing green droplet of Californium that we started with. It's a, just a, like a BB-sized droplet. The Californium really brings us to the very limit. It allows us to go to the extreme of, of stability. So the first thing we saw when, when we did the crystal structure, when we found out how the crystal was arranged, is it was like nothing that anybody had seen before. Everything about it was new. So it looked like the Californium was altering chemistry in a way that no other element could do. And so that then led to the Californium exhibiting properties that you, you couldn't have anticipated. And so it, uh, that green glow that I've been discussing, if you actually examine that in detail, it's not like anything someone has seen before. And our goal is really uh, to develop unknown properties uh, in these materials because virtually nothing is known uh, about, the chemistry of, of, about the chemistry this far out in the periodic table. A little less than 20% of the U.S.'s uh, electricity is generated in nuclear power plants. And it's a very controversial way of, of generating energy, but it is the world's only way of generating a large amount of energy with a small carbon footprint. And so whether we like it or not, it's our only option if we're really going to mitigate climate change. And the issue with nuclear energy is that when we put a fuel rod assembly into a reactor, we only get about 1% of the available energy out of it. We need to close that loop so that we're getting the energy that we can extract out of it, all of it out of it. And by closing that loop, we also reduce what ends up having to go off to repositories when we, when we mitigate environmental impact. So none of this work is possible without amazing graduate students. It's just, you, you need students that are both very intelligent and extremely careful, right? We can't make mistakes with a material like this. And so it requires the most talented students. I am grooming her to be a future professor because okay. she's just amazing, as you can tell. Many of my colleagues have asked me, you know, how do you, how do you publish 30 papers in a year? How do you pull that off? It's the students. I get these amazing students and the chemistry recruits them. I play a very minor role. I mean, when someone says, hey, you know, you can work with something that glows green and rewrite the textbooks, it attracts, you know, it attracts them all by themselves.